How's it going guys and welcome back to part 2 of this uh, little series I'm doing for the shield. Um, so I'm going to show you how to remove bloatware. And what bloatware, we're, what bloatware is is basically applications that are installed automatically. Um, now I know what you're going to say. You're going to say in part 1 you could have chose none. Which I do commend the shield to do. Or the shield, I do commend the shield for giving you that option. But um, most people will just say, yeah, go ahead and install it, and they want to remove it later on. So I'm going to walk through on how to remove these. And as you can see, we have a ton of apps here that I'm not going to be using. So I'm going to show you all how to remove that. So we're going to go down to settings. Before we do that, I noticed one thing that uh, happens quite often on the shield, especially set it up, is that the shield, the very first controller you use with the shield, it pairs it. But you get... You get two controllers. You get the controller controller, like the gaming controller, and you get the other controller. And I am, I, you can't see it, let's see if you can hear it. I'm pressing buttons and nothing is happening. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you how to pair it. So we'll choose pair and accessory. And my controller that I'm pairing is on the right. So let's see what it says here. Okay. In the future, or in the past, excuse me, you would normally have to choose a button to to um to, to activate it. But it, I didn't press anything. It activated it automatically, and I am moving up and down on this guy, and it is now paired and synced. Awesome. All right, let's get back to the bloatware. So I'm going to choose settings. I'm going to choose apps, and in the and in this setting, I'm going to remove whatever I don't plan on using. So this guy, I'm going to choose Disable, I'm not going to be using Amazon Video, and when you disable this, the icon also, also is removed. So let me just scroll down the list, sorry for the clicking. Okay, so um, scrolling down, let's see here, live channels. Netflix, I'm gonna leave that on. I'll leave gaming on because I do plan on using this for games here and there. Now, Plex, I'm not gonna be using Plex. I have other means for media servers, so I'm gonna go ahead and disable both of these. I could also uninstall the updates, but um, that will cause problems with certain things, which you'll see later on, and I'll mention that at that time. Voodoo, I don't plan on using Voodoo, so disable. YouTube, I'm gonna leave that. All right, so let's see how we're looking now. All right, guys, um, so I've removed several items from the settings button. Some of these I still have up here that I don't plan on using, so I'll show you how to remove this. So to do that, you'll first find one that you don't plan on using, which I'm not gonna be using YouTube TV anytime soon. So I press and hold the round button in the middle of the controller, press the uninstall button, uninstall, and I will do that for each one that I'm not planning on using. This also will give you the option to do, um, to rearrange these, uh, these, this app folder here, or this app area. So watch ESPN, I'm not gonna be using that. So let me clean this out quite a bit. Showtime, you're gone. Facebook video, you're gone. CBS All Access. You're gone. So guys, I'm not gonna make you watch all this. I will show you the end product, so um, I'll see you in a moment. All right guys, welcome back. So um, as you can see, this is a pretty short list, and uh, this, and I'm gonna use this method to go ahead and reorder this to the way I want it to be. So I just move YouTube to the front. Hulu will also be coming towards the front. Netflix as well. And that is about it. Um, so this is just just my initial configuration video. Tune in next time and you guys will see where I add apps in and I show you how to really get the most out of your NVIDIA Shield. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Okay,